Welcome to this uh, new episode of the Fox ATM interview. My guest today is Jeremy Beil, who is head of simulator training at uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport for the SNA. Jeremy, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you, Vincent. Um, you are here today to talk with us about something that happened at Charles de Gaulle uh, this spring, which was for me a big surprise, and I wanted to deep to go deeper into that. For the first time, because of COVID, obviously, you did validate an ADCO license uh, using not only live traffic in the tower cab, but also the simulator. Uh, yes. In my view, it was a first. And was it a basic rating or was it a site rating specifically for uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport? So to my knowledge, it was the first time um, in the world. So maybe I make a mistake, but I think it was a first, of course. And um, it was a full license uh, for uh, CDG. So the first trainee we qualified, uh, thanks to this process, uh, it was a tower uh, license, but a CDG tower license. And after this first uh, candidate, we had several of them. So now we have maybe 12 or 14 trainees who qualified this way. And some of them are now fully qualified at CDG Airport, validated on a simulator. And the validation itself was a mix. If I read correctly, it was one hour in the tower cab and two hours in the simulator. Exactly. You read it correctly. One hour live, real live traffic, traffic, post COVID traffic, mean, meaning it's uh, lighter. And then we had two hours of uh, examination with a higher traffic and complex situations. Okay, and this, the first one was a trainee that was trained under normal circumstances and only the validation was done in COVID time. But you said you have 12 others. So I guess some have been trained on very light corona traffic and simulator. So it means it's not only the, the validation that is adapted, it's also part of the training that changed because of COVID, being, making the simulator more important. Yeah, due to COVID, we had to change um, our process of training because the traffic doesn't allow us to uh, qualify people on the usual CDG traffic. So what we try to do is to train them on, a traf on uh, exercises uh, which have a, a traffic medium between the actual situation and the previous situation. And uh, we can present them some difficult situations they will have to face in the future when the traffic will come back. So we think the simulator is really interesting for that. So I guess in the training, they were seeing specific situations in the simulator anyway. But it means for now, the lucky candidate doing his validation on real traffic on a nice day like you have behind you with no emergencies, no specific situation was kind of lucky. But now every validation would include um, tricks and, and hard stuff, I guess. Um, in fact, yeah, during the training, we, we already had some uh, tricky situation, so no problem. Uh, but thanks to the simulator, we can optimize the number of hours needed to qualify someone. Because sometimes you, when you go on a real sector, you cannot guarantee the trainee will see uh, an interesting traffic. He will see planes, he will see traffic, but not exactly the situation adapted for his level. So now we use the simulation to optimize this number of hours. And every hour is interesting because we can uh, check and guarantee that the trainee will uh, encounter an interesting situation based on his actual level. And so we try to increase the number of hours of simulation in the training process. And then at the end, we validate through live traffic and the simulated traffic. And I guess the simulated traffic during the examination will contain nasty things anyway. Not nasty things, but some surprises not made to, uh, um, to trap the trainee, but to uh, guarantee that he can deal with some unusual situation. We don't, we don't deal in examination with really hard uh, 
uh, really hard um, incident or accident or this kind of thing. But he has to, the candidate has to face um, the usual high traffic he will have to deal with uh, at, at Charles de Gaulle. So it's not okay. too nasty because we don't want it to be um, harder than before. We just want to have the same level of quality and requirements than before. The, the ratings that have been issued uh, under these new rules, are they somehow limited? Do they get the full blown normal rating or do they have something like, you know, um, still in training or low traffic ratings or is it exactly the same as before? So not any limitation on their license. They get the exact same license as a classical previous controller. So it means they have the regular CDG license. No limitation in time, in quality or uh, uh, quantity of traffic. And you don't plan to have them in, under observation when traffic will ramp up again? It's not planned now because they, they are trained and they proved they have the quality to be qualified on a CDG traffic. So just after the qualification, they go on their teams and they will follow the classical uh, simulation to uh, keep their skills. So we implemented after the COVID uh, lockdown, we implemented some uh, training simulation for already qualified controllers. And so they come back to the simulator just to face the previous traffic so they can keep their skills. And so this trainee qualified on simulator will integrate this process and keep his level at a high point waiting for the traffic to come back. Have you seen some different interactions with colleagues? Are they perceived as the, the new kind of validated guys or are they just integrated in the team as, as normal? That's what, that's, a point uh, we were afraid of. We didn't want these guys to be uh, classified as the simulator guy. They are qualified and we wanted them to be recognized by their colleagues as equals. And we succeeded because the first feedback we have, colleagues are just accepting the fact that, that they are qualified on the simulator. To have this result, we invited the examinators, we invited some people from the operational teams to check the exercises and tell us if they think, based on this exercise, will we be able to qualify someone without any doubt? And so they asked for some modification. We, we went back and forth with them, adapting the exercises. And now we have exercises for all the diff diff different uh, CDG licenses. And there is no doubt at the moment if they are or not at the right level. No doubt for the colleagues, no doubt for the examinators, and no doubt for the regulators. So that's the goal we had. So that sounds really good. Um, I guess the regulator was involved in the, the process because you probably had to adapt the rules. Yeah. And I guess this is something that has been triggered by COVID, obviously. Uh, but is it limited to COVID? Do we have kind of an exception to do that during the COVID times? Or is it a change in the rules that will last in, in time? The, the idea of qualifying people on simulator uh, is not, uh, has not appeared with the COVID. It was something I had in my mind for a long time. Uh, I knew the on the simulator we can create situations that are really, really uh, realistic and can be used to qualify people. But till the COVID lockdown, the regulator didn't want to change the rules. Uh, during the lockdown and just after, they said, OK, what, how can we do to keep people uh, qualified? And so we said, we we came back with this ID and the regulator accepted the ID um, in exchange to, to prove uh, him that uh, the process was uh, efficient. So he asked us for um, different exercises. He asked us for specific condition. We have a minimum of one hour on real condition because they didn't want to go too far on the simulated license. 
and uh, so we went again back and forth with them several exchanges and we had to adapt our training uh, plan so now the official training plan of cdg includes examination on a simulator a minimum of one hour on real condition and the rest can be done on a simulator and to answer the second part of, of your question uh, there is not any idea of time limitation it means for the moment the training plan for cdg is based on a simulator and is, there is no limit linked to um, the covid resolution if the covid disappears tomorrow we can actually continue on a simulator if we want uh, if we don't want we have to ask for another modification to our regulator so that would be probably in, in your view a step backward to do so at the beginning the examinators said okay that's temporary and we can qualify people on the simulator while waiting for the covid to be solved and now some of them we who were not the more confident on the process are now convinced and they came back to us and said okay now i want to keep this way of examination even after the covid event so we are finger crossed but we believe we can continue on a simulator and prove that it's not less safe because it's the most important thing it's not less safe to qualify them on a simulator oh so let's will see. you also change your training plan to have more simulation and less wheel traffic also independently from covid because the simulator became so good um for the moment we are in the uh covid situation so we um we increase the number of hours on the simulator and decrease the number of hours on live traffic because there are uh, less uh, a smaller a number of positions opened so we have to adapt our plans else the lens to um, train people will go longer and longer and we cannot afford to keep trainees for five six seven years no that's not that's not a possibility so we want to keep our qualification time at three three years so for that we decided to increase the number of simulation to optimize every hour so Maybe we can even reduce the time of training. Uh, after the COVID, um, I mean, no one can know what will be after the COVID, but if, it, if the system works, there is no plan to come back to the previous system. If we can prove that our system on simulator is okay, we can, we can keep it. There is no plan for the moment. Maybe we will change, but maybe not, and I hope not. Jeremy, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Is there something Thank else you. you want to add, a final word? I hope some others will join us and qualify people on, on simulators also. Jeremy, thank you very much for your time. And Thank you, Vincent. We'll keep an eye on what you are developing there. Thank you. Bye-bye.